dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Blade of the Phantom Master. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is August 1st and we're taking a look at the anime movie Blade of the Phantom Master. That's right, and I don't really understand why it's called that because the Phantom Master doesn't really have a blade, he has two guns, I guess, which doesn't count as a blade. But anyway, this came out in 2004 and it's actually, it's a cross between, it's like a, they, they joined together, it was like a Japanese studio and a Korean studio, they joined together to put this together, um, and it's based off of the, is, is, does it qualify as a comic, or would it be still yeah, no. considered a manga? No, well, yeah, I mean a comic. Comic, manga, it's, it's kind of that in-between thing. Yeah, and it basically goes over Shoujin. two and a half story arcs of right. the comic. Right, right. Uh, and so basically, it's based on the Korean folktale, and, and forgive me if I'm, if I'm forgetting this uh, incorrectly, or... Well, forgetting it correctly, I guess. Uh, but it's based on the uh, the legend of Chun Hyung, uh, the the Korean tale, um, and it's a very interesting story. Essentially, what you have is you have these people known as Amen. Oh, what are they? Amen. Um, what the fuck? Osa. Amen. Oh, Amen Osa. Yeah, Amen Osa. So you have Amen Osas who wander around, and they're like just wandering heroes. And the main character that we have, whose name is um, Munsu, his character is an anti-hero in that he doesn't really want to help people but he feels every now and then compelled to i guess basically what he does is while he's helping these people he's yelling at them he's berating them he's like you should really be helping yourselves if you don't like what's happening to you stand up and do something about it so i like that character uh, i like him and his ability as an amen uh, amen osa is that he can summon these really weird looking masked kind of uh, this army of people with giant swords and they're really cool and they have these cool abilities and the stuff. phantoms and yeah phantoms. the phantoms the phantom master well he's the phantom master they're the phantoms so it is just pretty much that uh it was a it's a what is it a simple short movie like 86 minutes or something like that. so what did you think of it yeah i liked it, it was, this is one of those ones that actually made me feel like ah, I, I should really check out this comic because because yes it, it is kind of just this chunk yes. it feels like a long episode that's what i was gonna say uh and so there there's more you know that i want to know but having said that, the guy's a total dick. Like yes, he's yes. a real dick. But you kind of understand some of it. But but I don't know. I don't know how much of that also is misinterpretation, like cultural thing. Because I know Korean folktales don't always make sense to me. And so I don't. Maybe the ideas of of a hero also don't make sense to me. I don't okay. know how much translates or not. So I, I want to be fair. Um, but I, I do, you know, like him. But you know, he has. I forget what they call it, but he's a, there. Every Amonosa is is supposed to have no family, but is allowed one, you know, like bodyguard Sando. escort. Kind of, Sando, okay. Yeah. And so she, I don't want to spoil anything, but he ends up getting this girl, very you know, quiet, kind of shy girl, but she can kick some ass. And there are things that happen to her that you are privy to that make her very like, wow, I feel really bad for her. Like, what's you know, what's her deal? And they definitely don't pull any punches as far as like dressing them you know the girls in this are all kind of weird smm -y a little bit yeah which i like but it carries that connotation of her past and he's such a dick to her it's like dude don't don't you think she deserves a better treatment right and, but you know she's obviously an awesome person so whatever so so yes there's like this western bit that i just want him to be a little nicer to her yeah for yeah. goodness sakes and he and as far as as far as the western bit he is more western than everyone else there even the way he dresses kind of western but as far as that goes as far as his personality goes the way that i see it is as an ominosa he sees like the worst in people, you know, like I said, he doesn't, he expects people to take care of themselves and not, you know, have him be the, their miracle. Right, but you wouldn't really know that until, you know, he's one of those guys that it's like, well, I won't tell you to do this. I will treat you such a poorly way that you'll want to do it. Right. Which can be understood, you know, it's understandable, but it's just like, dude, just, just tell him. Uh, just tell, you know, it's like, cause he's like, ah, he's trying to help them, but he's like, you get, you know, if you get on my bad side, I'll kill you. You know, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do like this anime. I think it's a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of things going on, and it is kind of just that slice that I want to know the greater picture. Uh, Aminosa, they have like four different levels, and this is in a time where the Aminosa is kind of dying. So the first two levels no longer exist, apparently. I've right. done you know, a little reading afterwards. And the third and fourth are, which he is a third, and he has this medallion with three horses on it. 
and he can summon these phantoms or whatever. The fourth one's even more powerful, which I'm sure he runs to, into in the comic. Not so much here, but anyway. And then I think it was interesting that they did so much with the, the Mandrake root, which they pronounce Mandarake in this, which I've never heard before, so that was kind of cool. Uh, anyway, you like that? I thought that was kind of silly. Well, I mean, that's probably how they pronounce it in Korea or Japan. I don't know. Oh, I don't maybe. even know where it's indigenous to, honestly. It's just, the you know, we get a little bit of an English thing. Mandrake stuff, you know, whatever. Uh, it's interesting. Yes. And there are a lot. there's a lot to like about it. There's a few points where it's just kind of like, eh. It does seem old enough, but new enough. Right. You know? It, like, it, it does seem dated where it's, like, pulling it towards, like, Ninja Scroll. Not quite that old, but kind of that sort of thing and then there are, there are like 3D-ness about it that makes it feel more of the newer generation uh, we watched it in dubbed or at least I did and the English acting is great yes it, it is you'll again recognize most everybody yep um, yeah I just I guess I wish there was just more and it was one of those things I just kind of found because I was trying to find a movie to watch because I can't always devote you know time to series right. every week we would so. have done Attack on Titan but yeah we we're we're trying to do that it, it's it's hard for me especially because it's all subtitled right now I can't get a dubbed version which I don't think there is right Not now yet. and um, it's so visually pleasing that I have to watch every episode like twice I mean yeah. it's like I'm a fast enough reader but there are just things I want to just sit and appreciate I don't want to have to read and then like glance or like peripheral vision rely on that to see what's going on so so, I, but I'm loving the series, so we'll get to that. Yes. But in the meantime, we, we decided to do a movie, and yeah, I, I'm glad we did, because I didn't really know about it, and I really enjoy it. Well, that's interesting. I, I, I don't think I liked it as much as you did. Interesting. Um, I, I, I liked it. If, if this was a TV series, you know, just an anime series on, uh, that you can watch uh, uh, each episode... I think that would make more sense, and I think I would be more compelled to watch. Uh, well, of it. course, it would be great if there's more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but at least it has an ending. As, as far movie. as well, as far as this movie goes, it felt like such a long, drawn out episode that I kind of, especially in the middle, I was just like, uh, the the right around the Mandrake part. You know, once that once that really started to kick. Well, it to switches happen, gears about a third of the way through. Right, right, yeah. So, so uh, basically, the story is. Uh, based on the comics, it's like the first story, and then somewhere shortly after the first story. So it's not like the second or third; it's like the fourth story in um, that they kind of tie this movie into. Um, so, so yeah, you have two kind of episodes kind of hanging in there. One very short, one very long, but the long drawn out one. I, I almost fell asleep watching it because parts of it were slow, and I just it it was just too long for me. As far as I had no problem because it was episodic in nature. Um, and I was expecting more of a movie. If it was like more action packed, more you know, more story driven as far as you know, character emotional pieces, that then that'd be interesting. But it, all it was was a sense that essentially a scenario, and then how to solve the scenario. And that's kind of, I, I if it's a movie, I want more out of it. I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, I thought it was unique enough. It totally captured my attention, and I didn't have any issues with it. Huh. So I don't think it's like, you have to watch this, but I think, hey, it's a pretty good movie, and it'll make you want to read the comics. Yes, I agree with that. I do want to read the comics more, because there is a lot of interesting stuff in there, and I want more of the story. I just wish they put more of the story into the movie, as opposed to just kind of those two parts, I guess. All right. Uh, is there anything else to say? I mean, the art is, again, it's just slightly dated, I think, but it's yeah, pretty great. Yeah, I like the art. I think the art is uh, is pretty damn good, considering uh, what I said, that this was 2004. Um, so considering, I really, I really dig the art. I, but yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but it is pretty damn good. And the voice acting, like you said, is perfect. So yeah, I love the the evil, you know, like ninja chick. Yes, she's awesome. But there's no real story. That that's the whole thing. Is it's just yeah. kind of this thing. And I guess I appreciate that they didn't try to cram so much into one movie because a lot of movies do do that. And I appreciate that it actually has an ending. Um, but it does live in this larger world that you'll never be privy to unless you read the comics. So, but that's kind of like, you know, we should be used to that because anime does that all the time. Yeah, that's that true. just the thing where they're like, hey, now that you care about these characters, we're going to stop the anime and you need to go pick up the manga, which, you know, if you can, then great, but I'm not made of money, you know. Yeah, whatever. I think that's interesting that, that they're, they're, they're promoting the sales of their manga as opposed to the, the anime. I mean, I guess anime is obviously more costly yeah, to produce, but... Yeah. I think I think time consumed. I would think that it would make more money than the manga in the end. So yeah, I don't know about in Japan because there's so much competition. Uh, yeah, so I guess until that's it true. becomes strong in other markets, which you know it's still kind of fledgling here. That's true. Uh, the fact that you're watching this is great, uh, but yeah, you need to tell your friends. I need, I'm telling my friends, you know, watch anime. Anime is cool. It is. It's, really it's pretty awesome. Anyway, so I think it's I think it's worth a look into. You know, you should be able to. I mean, it's fairly consistent if you watch the first 10, 15 minutes or the, even the trailer. You should be able to, you know, tell if you're going to like it or not. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's it's not like an insult where, you know, again, it has an ending. It's not like, what happens? I don't know. That was a total waste of time, you know. It's like, well, okay, this ended, you know. Yep. Done. It, it was a self-contained movie um, episode, I guess. It, it really feels like an episode to me. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Well, we are getting to a lot of your recommendations. Yes. We just, you know, a lot of them are long. So, you know, we're starting now and it'll be a little while. But uh, thank you for those. Please keep them coming and leave us comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow our great playlists. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I'll chat with you. And we're blogging. Uh, you can follow me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets. Uh, little bits about my world that I've created for the 10 plus years. Starting to leak it out there. So go take a look if you like it. Share it. Support me that way. And I'm on Tumblr at nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I'm putting out short stories, poetry, and anything else that I feel like putting out. All right, guys. See you later. Please work. Not again work again. Coming up next time, it's Ah, Zombies! Peace out. Yachts.